first real exam of the year. <sighs> Too much anxiety. Everyone deals with anxiety differently. Did you know that the Capox fiber is a silky material similar to cotton that surrounds the seed in the pot of the zebra tree? But Bianca can be really quiet. I'm never quite sure if she's afraid or if she's angry, but it usually becomes clear. You totally ruined my life! Why is it my fault your father is mad at you? If you hadn't stuck your nose in, I never would have sang. And if I hadn't sung, my father never would have heard me, okay? Is he really that mad at you? I don't want to talk about it. And keep your distance at least three paces away. Don't get too close to Bianca. Stay at least three paces away. Here at the Fashion Academy of Milan, the exams are taken very seriously, as is indicated here in the regulations on page... Three two. exams are held during the year. But if you fail just one of them, you will not be permitted to sit the final exam. Yeah, which is the fashion show. <laughs> also... On that day, the biggest names in fashion will be in attendance. One of you will be given the title of Best Fashion Student and will have the honor of opening Milan Fashion Week. I'm not feeling well all of a sudden. Too much anxiety. Where is it? I don't see it. Now, calm down, students. Just, just concentrate on studying for your first exam. Simply focus on doing your best and everything will work out fine. <laughs> Hopefully. Accessories. You'll find nothing is more important. You will design the perfect accessories for this beautiful dress. <gasps> Earrings, bracelets, a necklace, or perhaps even a purse. Whatever it is you want. Gozy, I'm psyched. And we decided that you'll be working in pairs. Oh no, but why? Because you'll always have better results with two heads and four eyes. But that's terrible. Mm -hmm. Now then, the pairs who will be working together are... It's sick, don't let it be her, please. Please don't let it be her. Maggie and Jacques. Maggie! Did you not hear me? You'll be working with Bianca. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, listen. Uh... Let's get going, exam partner. Move. Good luck. Does he not want to be seen with me? We've got 24 hours to do this exam, and I'm working with Bianca. I'm going to need all the luck I can get. Good thing I've got my ace in the hole. Hashtag, I can do it. Why are you always hiding out in the broom closet? I like it in here. You can't honestly mean that. Listen, I really can't fail this exam. Why? Because then your father will be even more mad at you? No one asked your opinion. Anyway, I don't want to fail this exam either. But I'm feeling good about it. I've got an ace in the hole. What? A lucky charm. All the major stylists have them. They hold on to them before every big fashion show. Maybe the ones in Portland? No, all of them. They don't do anything without their lucky charms. It's just superstition. No, actually, they're working tools. Look, we better get started. But not in here. <sighs> Where? 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 Where's what? My ace in the hole, my lucky charm. I can't find it. It was here. Aunt Betsy had it. Well, there's your culprit. All right, look. Aunt Betsy is a very reliable person. And she knows how important it was to me. My mother gave it to me as a gift. It was hers. I can't do the exam without it. I can't live without it. It was my ace in the hole, my lucky charm. I have to count. One, <laughs> two, okay, three, Okay, stop it. Four. It's just a pick for a guitar. It's not just a pick. It's my ace in the hole. Stop it. Will you just listen to me? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Professors, just who I was looking for. <laughs> I need your help. Well, I need some help. I mean, so I've been working away at a new brochure for the school, but I think I'd like someone younger than myself to take care of it. Not that I'm too old, mind you, but do you think I'm too old? Anyway, it doesn't matter. I, I'd like it done by someone who has fresh, vibrant ideas. I'll do it for you. We'll do it together. You said yourself that two heads and four eyes work better than one. Oh, but that's terrible. No, no worries. We share the same taste in things. What makes you think that? 
Well, the other day at that boring happy hour that Max organized, she and I both preferred beer and rock music. Right! I'll just wait for you outside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're a brave man. Working on something with Professor Tucker can be... difficult. She seems like a nice, calm, easygoing person who'd be a pleasure to work with. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Accessories? Why couldn't the exam be on something like photography? Not having to do the exam at all would be better. Why don't you focus on the work you have to do? The one you're being paid for? You and me, Bianca? Oh, that. Yeah, sure. Hi, Bianca. Go away. <laughs> I'd like to have a pomegranate juice with a dash of cinnamon, one clove, and an ice cube. But don't make it too cold. It'll cost you. It's really hard to come up with something sweet to say about her. <sighs> Exams are stressful. So shouldn't you be studying or something? Oh, but I am. Yuki. Yeah, I've got another idea. I prefer the tone on tone. Mm-hmm. Here's the deal. Make me three samples, and I'll choose the one that I like the most. Mm, keep up the good work. I love being partnered with Yuki. And I love using my credit card. I'm going to buy all the accessories online. I can't believe I lost it. It's gone. Hey! Did you find it? I can't believe you actually have two nice tops. How can you be so insensitive? I don't know. We're never gonna pass this exam. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm not having another long talk with my father. The last one was terrible. Was it really that bad? The worst. He just stood there staring at me, not saying anything. Then what? Then nothing. He just stared at me in silence. Without saying anything? Yep. That sounds horrible. <sighs> okay, I give. I'll help you find your lucky charm. I can't believe you'd actually do that for me. No, I'm doing it for me. Oh. I'm gonna pass this exam no matter what. All right, let's go. So, Quinn, you working hard for me or what? Sure thing. Good man. What was that about? I thought we were working on this together. It's not about the exam. So what is it then? Promise you won't say a word. You got it. Imagine you had to write something poetic and beautiful about, uh, ice cream, okay? But maybe you don't like ice cream. Well, write something beautiful about ice cream, but think about chocolate. No, that won't work. You, you can't do that. Why not? Because ice cream and chocolate are totally different. And if I write about ice cream while thinking about chocolate, the ice cream will know it's not stupid, you know? The ice cream? <sighs> All right, I'll tell you, but you just can't tell anyone. Not a soul, you hear me? Okay, I promise. The ice cream's frosty. Yeah, I know. How do you know? Everyone knows ice cream is frosty. No. Listen, the frosty ice cream is frosty ice queen. It's Bianca. Ah. How do you know Nausicaa stole my pick? Just a hunch. I'm not that convinced. Show me more proposals. And for your sake, get them to me in an hour. Go on, giddy up, get going. Break a leg. Mm. Break a leg. She's got nerve. Now do you believe it was her? So what do you think I should do? <laughs> Maybe try melting? Ice cream or Bianca? I'd say both. Okay, I guess I'll give it a shot. regulations to open someone else's locker. Would you please stop following us around like a lost dog? I'm only trying to work. We'll go work somewhere else. Nausicaa's gonna have a fit. Go Z. I never thought you'd do something like this. Me neither. Wow. Didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> it's not in here. What's going on here? Uh, this uh, happened to my locker too once. Something about fermentation levels inside reacting with high or low pressure, and then suddenly it explodes. But everything's under control now, so you can move along. Come on. That was really fast thinking, Quinn, and intelligent. You surprised me. 
That surprised me too. Hey partner, I've been looking for you. We going to work or what? Your friend is following us around like a lost dog. I just want to know why the two of you were snooping around Nausicaa's locker. <gasps> There's my pig! <laughs> Thanks for finding it, Uncle Max! Look, it's my pig! <laughs> That's not yours. That was from Black Hole. <laughs> no, it's not, Max. That's my lucky charm. What? Get your eyes off my treasure! That pick belongs to me! Easy now. <laughs> that pick is mine! I think it's time mine. to go. Yes, oh, come on out of Let's go! Get her out of here! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get her out of here! It's mine! <laughs> Don't worry. No one's gonna take you away from me, my precious. Maggie, calm down! So embarrassing. How can I calm down? He stole my ace in the hole! Well, at least you know it's safe. Let's get to work. No, stop it! I'm getting it back! Oh, calm down! Oh, <laughs> I'm calm, I'm calm! <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six... Jacques, you understand, don't you? He deserted me. How rude! with the way it looks mm -hmm. so far. Very nice. That? A sample of my idea for the brochure. You like it? Mm. I have a couple of notes here for you. Now, this is what I think needs work. Okay, there's maybe a better way of saying it, but well, sure, I'll give it a look. <sighs> yeah. Um, everything seems uh, pretty clear. <laughs> <laughs> have a seat. This is just the list of everything to be done. And this is a detailed account of how I think the things should be done. Ha, uh, yes, well, uh, everyone has their own way of doing things, so uh, maybe, maybe I don't... <laughs> what a sweet thing to say. But you'll do it my way, because that's what makes this collaboration so perfect. <laughs> don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> uh, I'll never understand women, no way. Yeah. Ferrari, what are you doing back there? Trying to hide from someone? No, no. <laughs> Actually, I thought I saw an extremely rare Dermatophagoid Terranisa Nuso, and I wanted to get a photograph of it. What is that? A dust mite. A uh, dust mite? But I always thought they were invisible to the naked eye. Not always. Yeah. Having problems with Tucker, huh? No. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do anymore. She's like a marine drill sergeant. She doesn't cooperate or compromise. It's fascinating, but you know what I'm thinking? No. Just let her do the brochure. Good morning, Professor Ferrari. He said so himself. He just doesn't understand women. Hey, little dust mite. Where are you? Jacques? Why are you ignoring me? What'd you say? Are you ashamed of me? Sorry, but I gotta go. This is who I am. If you don't like it, that's your problem. Okay, I get the message. Ciao. Oh, no. You're gonna tell me what you think about me. I think that if people see me hanging around with you, they'll think I'm weird, too. I mean, you talk to ragdolls. Her name is Aunt Betsy. There you go. Listen, in this school, there are weird people like you and cool people like me. You'd ruin my reputation. Hey. I'm done. Ready to work on that exam with me yeah, now? Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and he thinks I'm weird. <sighs> Time's almost up. My luck has run out. Hashtag, I can't do this. I am not going to fail this because of her. Okay, we have to start working. We've already lost half a day. I can't start work on anything without my lucky pick. Just ask her. <laughs> Excuse me, have you seen Uncle Max? Uh, he'll be back soon. Thanks. 
What if he sees us? You want your pick back, and I want to pass the exam. Got any other solution? Uh, no. It's not there. He must have hidden it. That's it, we're failing. <sighs> Maggie, come and help me. I think I found something. <gasps> this is the biggest collection of picks I've ever seen. Mine's not here. It doesn't matter. Just take anyone that looks like it. I can't do that. My pick is very unique. It's a pick. Just take another one and transfer the good luck to that one. That's not how it works. Maggie, we have to hand in the exam soon, and we still don't have an idea. The only thing we have is a stupid jar filled with useless multicolored picks. Yeah. <sighs> I've got an idea. I don't think this is gonna work. When did you become such a pessimist? Since I lost my pick. I'll never pass this exam. No use trying. Think about it. How did we find this jar of picks? Looking for my lucky pick. So your pick helped us find these. <gasps> Cozy, you're mm. right! Come on. Ugh. Problem? No, I just... I wanted to bring the students in to go over the exams, but I can't find Ferrari. Oh, look! <laughs> That's it. I'm tired of hiding. Allison, we gotta talk. Look, you're a charismatic, dynamic oh. woman, but you've gotta try to be less aggressive, okay? I'm well. aggressive? <laughs> well, maybe a little. <laughs> Start over. Okay, but this time at least, let me decide when and what I want to drink. <laughs> That's quite unique. Congratulations, girls. Well done. This should be a lesson for all of us. Even when two people are very different, they can work together to create something special. And without an ace in the hole, things may not work out so well. Uh, don't mind her. That's something they say in Portland. I'm actually surprised. The entire class passed the first exam. That is very rare. Lots of talent here this year. And don't forget lots of luck. Well, there is <gasps> one thing I'd like to know. Where did you find all those colored picks? Um, it's a long story. Uh, yeah, we ordered them from a supplier who was so happy to help us. If I ever find out who did this, they're gonna pay for it. It was an incredibly valuable collection, you know? Bet you Black Hole would've loved it. Maybe his mother would've liked it. This is girly girl stuff, do you hear me? Girly girl stuff. You don't understand. Please forgive this poor ignorant boy. He doesn't know you like I do. Forgive him, Black Hole. Forgive him and forgive me, I'm I sorry. I know you wanted something chic, but that dust mite was so cute I couldn't resist. How you could think that a dust mite could be an accessory is totally beyond me. Uh, uh, I think it's cute, don't you? Uh, well, friends and me are afraid we're out of here. Listen up, just do what I do. You won't have a problem. Mm-hmm. Leo, you should check our grades online. <sighs> Upon further review, the jewel that Leo had submitted was store-bought, resulting in a failing grade. <laughs> oh, no. Listen up, just do what I do, and you won't have a problem. Ugh. Uh, actually, I'm the one that did the work. A minor detail, shut it. And here comes my savior. I don't know how I could have managed without Bianca. How sweet. I could strangle you with my own bare hands. Okay, maybe not that sweet. <gasps> I didn't notice it before. It was there the whole time? Mm -hmm. That means that the other one really does belong to Max. Oh, don't worry, my precious. We're together, and nothing will ever come between us again. Never again. Oh. 
Don't you get it? You had it the whole time. I know. It's just that it was hiding under the scarf, and I... And you turned me into a common bar thief for no reason at all. I guess we lucked out. Keep your distance. At least three paces. You're much prettier when you smile, Mr. Love. What's up? What's with the face? Nothing that a primitive caveman like you would understand. Well, this whole thing has taught me a valuable lesson. Luck in itself doesn't exist. We have to create our own luck by working hard and getting some help from our friends. Three paces, you hear me? Hashtag, still a long way to go. What exactly are you doing? I'm trying to get to my bed, but I know I have to stay three paces away from you. I like it when you do what I ask you to. Thank you. You're so nice when you want to uh -uh. be. Three paces away. Something weird happened today. It's all at Betsy's fault. If she hadn't hidden the pick, none of this Maggie, I live in a bigger, more glamorous world. I am so over the whole guitar pick thing. Then what are you talking about? <laughs> about this text I got. You're so much prettier when you smile. Gosie! Who sent it to you? Someone named Mr. Love. You have a secret admirer? <gasps> that is so romantic. Well, I don't believe in romance, okay? Hey, I never thought we could make our own luck, but today we did it. <sighs> Come on, don't you want to know who it is? And what if he sends you more texts? Don't you want to meet him or go out <sighs> with him? How did all this glamour end up with such a mushy and sappy roommate? <laughs> you know, I think it was the pick that sent you that admirer. It has to be. There's uh -huh. no other... Maggie? I don't want to talk about your pick, or your luck, or any of your other weird stuff. <sighs> what is that you're wearing? Don't you love it? It was a gift from my mom! Sure. You look like a caterpillar. Well, good night. Ah. I know, I know. Three paces. 